This is the Nikon that so many of us have been waiting for. But does the Nikon Z8 live up to the hype? Yes, this is the most important Nikon camera body for underwater shooters right now. The popularity of the Z8 camera is huge and we're so excited to get it in the water. It's basically a baby Z9 and it will give you the same results but save you a lot of money and a lot of effort to get there. Anyone thinking of taking the Z9 underwater should be seriously considering this camera. The Z9 is 40% larger than the new Z8. It will increase your housing size and weight proportionally. The Z8 literally has all of the great photo and video capabilities of the Z9 and squeezes them into a much smaller package. You've got 45 megapixels, you've got 120 frames per second, you've got 8K and raw video. It's pretty much anything you could ask a camera for in 2023. And anyone shooting a Z9 will probably be owning a second camera body and you should be choosing the Z8 as that camera body and take the Z8 underwater. I think the Nikon Z8 is a no brainer for my D850 shooters out there. You'll finally have the perfect entry point into a mirrorless system. You're going to appreciate the image quality, the dynamic range, and a killer autofocus system. If you're a hybrid shooter, you're going to be blown away by the video that this camera is capable of. The Eichlite 200DL underwater housing for the Z8 is designed to be lightweight, intuitive, reliable, and field serviceable. It's the only housing that allows you to clearly see the camera and O-ring after assembling the system. Our products are made in the USA and backed by a team of customer service staff who dive and use the equipment. If you're already shooting an Eichlite 200DL dry lock housing, then your ports, your TTL converter, and your other accessories will come right over with you to the new system. Double check the Z mount port chart because lens positioning is a little different, especially for those older F lenses that now need an adapter. But autofocus is still great when you're using an AFS or AFP lens with the FTZ converter, so there's no worries there. If you're shooting an older Nikon in a housing with our original four port lock system, do check out our trade up program, which gives you credit towards the purchase of a new housing and lens ports. Speaking of ports, the central feature of the housing is this simple and reliable dry lock DL port mount. You're already going to be traveling with several pounds of camera and lenses, so traveling with the lightest dome ports on the market will help you keep within airline luggage allowances. We have already about 25 or so Nikon Z mount lenses on our port chart and we'll continue to add compatibility information as it becomes available. If you wanna know about a lens that's not listed on our charts, just shoot us an email and we'll look into it for you. One cool thing about the Z8 when you're doing lens changes is this neat dust protection feature for the camera's sensor. These blades that look like a shutter open and close automatically when the camera is powered on and off. And that's a really good thing because damaging your sensor practically means buying a whole new camera. The dry lock mount keeps water away from the sensor while you're doing lens port changes and a control on the side of the housing lets you remove the lens, whether it's C mount or using an FTZ adapter. You can leave your camera body in the housing during port changes. And in fact, you can leave it in for your whole week of diving, thanks to a major innovation we've recently released, which is the USB data transfer and charging bulkhead. You can fit a USB cable inside of the housing connected to the camera, which allows you to plug a USB cable on the outside of the housing and run it to your charger or laptop. It's incredible. And while the Nikon Z8 is a tight squeeze inside of this housing, we do offer a new right angle connector, which makes it an easier fit with that USB cable. 
The Nikon Z8 supports full autofocus and auto exposure tracking at up to 120 frames per second, making it one of the two fastest cameras on the market, the other being its big brother, the Z9. You're probably not going to be shooting quite that fast underwater, but it's an incredible feature for people who also shoot cars, airplanes, sports, or other fast moving subjects. Now the Z8 comes without a built-in flash, so you will be adding an external flash via the hot shoe, either on the surface or underwater. The maximum flash sync speed is 1 200th of a second. The Eyeglite bulkhead on the top of the housing is the most reliable electrical bulkhead connection in the industry. Electrical flash triggering has zero lag and zero missed signals. The Z8 is compatible with our DL1 DS-Link TTL converter, which really allows you to take advantage of the camera's burst shooting capabilities by automatically adjusting your strobe output based on your distance to the subject. That's critical when your subject's moving towards you and you don't have the time to adjust the power settings on the sides of your strobes. If you prefer to shoot fiber optic strobes, you can add the optional manual fiber optic transmitter, which is a simple installation. And either way, burst shooting is possible when you're using our professional grade strobes. I do find that the Z8 is a little short on exposure control with only two control dials, one on the front and one on the back of the camera. But it's enough for most shooting situations and if you're familiar with the D850, then it's gonna be no problem changing through this camera. I do find it to be a bit limiting when I'm coming from shooting a Canon R5, which has three customizable dials, or the Sony a7R5, which has four customizable dials. The camera has a big, bright viewfinder, and you can easily switch back and forth between the viewfinder and the rear LCD screen while it's inside of the housing. I find myself using the rear LCD more and more, and sometimes exclusively. And you can keep in mind that you'll save battery life when you use the rear LCD screen. If you're a hardcore viewfinder shooter, you can upgrade the housing standard optically enhanced viewfinder with either our 45 degree magnified or straight magnified viewfinder. The Z8 is a little skimpy on viewfinder resolution compared to the current competition with only 3.6 million dots. The a7R5, for example, has almost three times as many, which does kind of make a difference if you're a primary viewfinder shooter. The Z8 has a SIPA battery rating of 340 shots per charge, which will cover you easily on most days of shooting underwater. The power safe features of this camera work so well, and you'll typically get plenty of shots out of this camera on a fully charged battery. No matter what camera you're shooting, get used to using the power standby mode. Set it to about 30 seconds or less. The camera will go to sleep if you haven't changed a setting or taken a photo in that time. Wake it up by half pressing the shutter button. I half press the shutter as I bring the housing up to my face and once you get into that habit, you'll just be amazed at how much battery life you can get out of your camera. If you're not already living in the Nikon universe, then I would recommend considering the Canon R5 or the Sony a7R5 cameras instead. Both have better lens choices in addition to being smaller and lighter. The Sony maxes out image resolution at an incredible 60 megapixels. I think a lot of the choice depends on the lenses you already own. If you already have some of the classic F-mount lenses like the 8-15 to fisheye, then you're money ahead to stay in the Nikon cameraverse and shoot the Z8. But if you're starting from scratch, there are so many great contenders out there and I tend to gravitate towards something lean and mean like the new Canon R8. The Nikon Z8 is a totally incredible camera to shoot underwater right now. I would recommend it to anybody and if you take it underwater, you're gonna get some amazing photos and videos. The camera is top of the line in terms of technology and it's a perfect fit inside of the 200DL housing. Let us know in the comments below what your next camera will be and reach out to us by email to ikelite at ikelite.com for advice on equipment and underwater photography. Happy shooting.